all righty what is going on ladies and gents welcome back to the channel for another market update everybody's having a lovely day and with that being said get into some ta all right guys we're gonna kick it off here with qq's daily time frame and i am just going to point out at the very beginning of the video guys things are looking pretty explosive things are looking like they want to continue higher and that's just you know really what we got now, QQ, guys, it is coming up into the golden pocket from this whole decline here. You are retracing, and you hit the 0.618 Fib today. I am just going to point out, all right, above 473.82, the next, you know, big spot, okay? It's going to be all the way up here at 484.43. All right, guys, so this was the neckline of your head and shoulders you got going on right there. All right, you can clearly see that. Okay, so above here... You know, you're kind of playing with this range right there. That is the top of the range, 484.43. Resistance is going to be 475.55, 484.14, and 484.43. Above 484.43, we're probably just going to come and take out the high here, which is going to be 503.52, and that is that. All right, guys, now in support, we have 473.82, 467.94, and then 465.10. That is what we got on the downside. I will point out you got this 15 minute bearish divergence going on here. That is definitely something to know. And it very, you know, very honestly likely gives us a little pullback. So that's something to point out here. I'm bullish on that pullback. I think we're going to continue higher. That is just, you know, what I'm seeing across the board. We have a bunch of charts that look like they want to continue higher. You're pushing up against the 0.786 Fib here. I do have to assume it will be taken out and above 55487 over here in SPY. We're going to be looking for the above levels. 55674. All right. And then above there, we can come all the way up to 55963. And guys, all right, that is retracing the whole move down. You are testing the 0.786 Fib. If you break above 553.30, which, you know, intraday you did, okay, if you really get above there, you get a daily close, you're going to come back for a test up to 565.16. And that's just that. Resistance, you have 55487, 55674, and then 55963. On the downside of support, you have 55170, 54791, and then 54348. That is that. IWM, how are things looking, guys? You came up here into your supply zone, having a little battle right now. Okay, so far, guys, okay, it's being treated as demand. You gapped up into it, and you're holding it. You get above it, you get above 212.25, we're going to be paying attention to 215.85. Above there, we have this level up there at 220.77. And then in between there, you have 217.72. So above 212.25, you have 215.85, then 217.72, and then 220.77. On the downside of support, you have 209.77, 207.96, and then that's it. Okay, DIA, how you looking, guys? You're pushing up against the 0.786 Fib. Get above here. You're likely going to come up and uh, revisit up here for the 100% retracement. At that point, you're going to get a new all-time high above 413.86. Come over here to Mr. Vix. Gets a big, fat, nasty Vix crush. That is what we have going on over here on Vix, guys. We pointed out on last week's candle typically don't see this and then it continues to uh bounce more no you typically see this before it full-on reverses and crushes that is what we have here you are now down to support this is where we want to see you know well not wait but you know anyone bullish on vix over here you want to see buyers start stepping in here okay you want to see them bearish part that start getting taken over there in spx but honestly i'm not so sure if that is going to be the case okay uh, you do have these divergences forming here pretty consistently. They just kind of keep forming. So at some point, we're going to actually see them play out. We're going to see a little pop here. But until that comes, you know, screw the VIX. We're not going to pay too much attention to it. It's crushing. It's in crush mode. And honestly, it probably could get back down to these lows over here at like 11, 12 bucks, 1150. So that would be that. Okay. SMH. Let's go over the chips, guys. You had that breakout. You got above 230.05. The next big spot was 250.85 to 255.92. That's still where I think you're heading. That's going to be a magnet now that you're so close here. And that's what I'm paying attention to. SMCI, guys, this is one that just started smooth today. Congrats if you are playing this good bad boy right here. 
All right, guys. Now, on all of these rallies, you know, you've gotten at least 30%. Just about, okay? Right here so far, I think you just about went 30%. Okay? Yeah, you went 33%. Earlier in the day, I was just seeing, I was like, you know, you definitely have gotten larger moves. And then you got the larger move. I was like, oh, I knew it. Uh, but yeah, guys, fresh breakout from this downtrend over here on SMCI. Pretty sexy. If we get a pullback here, that's what I really would like. So I'm just going to put an alert just in case I, you know, forget to watch on a pullback over here. Put an alert right there at 596. If it does come, this is a really sexy setup, guys. That is that. Uh, resistance, guys, 636.98. Above there, you have 671. And then 670, uh, 762, 63. The video guys was in full out, you know, just bull mode today. Okay. We put in the hammer candlestick yesterday, got above 118.04 on the gap up this morning, came back, retested it, flipped it as, you know, from resistance into support, found buyers. And now we are testing 121.50. Except, guys, I mentioned this the other day, how we could, you know, come right here, start getting sellers stepping in, wick up to here, and then come back down. That's not what happened here. You know, you're looking like you want to continue higher here. Weekly chart looks absolutely phenomenal. It looks like you want to continue higher and take out these highs. That's what I think is going to happen here. I was debating, you know, cutting this thing. And I think this thing's going higher. I think this thing is going to actually come up here and take out the high. I think with earnings, I think we very likely could see a 150 NVIDIA. That's that. 150, 160. That's that. Just my opinion. Have go. What do you got, guys? You're pushing up against the 0.786 Fib right now. If you can get above 166.85, that is when you have a straight shot all the way up here to 176.55. I do think that, you know, this is likely from this point, from with how with how things are looking right now. It looks like this thing's gonna go up here. All right. Increasing volume here. Big wide body green bar on the gap and go. It looks amazing. Okay, level to level now, you're pushing up, testing that 0.786 Fib. You get over here, you come over here. Okay, if you get to that level, you're just going to come over here. Why? Because this level is above this 0.786 Fib from this whole decline. When you get above the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement, that is where the opposing side should be stepping in. That's the last stand is how I like to see it. If they, you know, fail there, if price starts getting above it or below it, depending which way you're going, then 100% retracement is likely, which in this case would be up here at 185.16. AMD, again, same concept, guys. From here down to here, that is where we're measuring this right here. That is 20% decline. You got above the 0.786 Fib. I have to now assume that we're going to have 100% retracement and test 153.64. So that's what I'm looking for. I move up to 153.64 to 157.05. That is, you know, where I think this thing is heading next. And you guys coming back from the dead really freaking quick over here. It's looking really nice. The level that really stands out to me, now that you're over 105.72, is going to be 121.01. That is what's really standing out to me. Okay, other than that, you have that, and you have that. 111.34, 114.09, then 121.01. Arm. Again, come back from the dead over here. Got the fresh downtrend break. Looking kind of nice. All right. Expect sellers in between 135.41 and 145. ESM. In the golden pocket. Resistance is going to be 176.82 and above there 182.75. If you get above 182.75, you probably have a straight shot of coming up to the new all-time high above 192.80. Support is going to be 171.54 and then 167.12. QCOM. All right. Looking pretty sexy. I like how this weekly candle, you know, is shaping up here. It looks pretty destined to set 177.59 to 184.31. That's what I think is coming right around the corner. That's that. All right, guys. Now let's go over here on the big boys. Apple. Are we looking, guys? This volume finally stopped declining. You're starting to see it pick up here. And, you know, just judging off its weekly candlestick, I did, you know, it looks like it wants to continue higher. That's what I'm looking at. I know you just keep going up and it looks like it's not sustainable, but guys, we have seen these things where it just does that and it keeps going up. So I think, you know, that's the kind of mode the market's in. I think it, it is going to happen. We've actually seen this is kind of what. Today's price actually reminded me of back over here, right here, 
right here where you gapped, you never came back. You consolidated a little, reset oscillated because you consolidated, you went flat for a little while, and then you went off the races, okay? That's what all of this price action reminds me of. Over here on Microsoft, guys, closed out with the hammer candlestick, increasing volume. I'm looking for above one 421.78, guys. You have a straight shot up to 430.82. This is a move that, you know, I think I am going to take advantage of tomorrow. See if I see a setup to go off of. And, uh, yeah, I think this is queuing up for a pretty sexy move on 0DT Friday, and that's that. So that's Amazon. Support is going to be 117.27. If it does gap above 421.78, look for the retest, look for the gap fill. That is, you know, your play right there. Amazon, above 176.80. You have 181.22. That is where we ultimately were looking. Once you got up, up above 168.77, you really didn't have much until you came all the way up here. So that's what we we're looking for. You're just, you know, scraping your way. Support's going to be 176.80 and then 173.87. Meta, guys. We pointed it out as of right here. You were gonna find a higher low over here. Okay. I just think you came all the way back down. It was pretty crazy for a little bit. But then you scraped your way back up from the dead. And now you're looking like you want to freaking explode. Next leg up coming. Meta. That is that. Gook. This is one that hasn't even freaking gone yet. All right. It's coming, guys. It's coming. It's this market. It's got fuel behind it. We're ready for a pushback up to all-time highs. That's that. You know, guys? Things things looked pretty, pretty bleak at one point. But guess what, baby? The market's back. Whenever you think everything's going to die, and when the market is finally going to crash, it's, it's typically those times when it's not going to crash and you should be loading the boat. And that was the situation we were in not too long ago. Goog looks like it's going to freaking explode. And, you know, short term here, we're going to see if we can uh, get that alert triggered, guys. You get above 164.50, you're probably going to be breaking out from here. Then you watch 165.87, 168.53, 170.97, one seventy eight twenty one. That is Goog. This is honestly probably the one I would be focusing on. I am going to focus on starting tomorrow. That's that. Tesla, okay? Speaking of downtrends, fresh downtrend break. Increasing volume, closing right here, 214.71 resistance. Get above there, you really have nothing in between here and here. So that is a straight up, you know, $18 move right there that you could be paying, paying attention to, taking advantage of. Up to 233.09, above 214.71, you have nothing to 233.09. At that point, you probably also push up 237 and test that golden pocket. All right, guys, so those are the big boys. How's Bitcoin looking? Like a piece of crap. All right, focus on the overall market right now, not Bitcoin. It's not the time. All right, it is not the time. We're going to see how this shapes up, but everything's kind of not looking the best over here on the Bitcoin miners, and I'll just point that one out. You do have Mara over here, though. It's fixing to break out over here. Daily RSI is almost, you know, almost oversold. I assume this thing's probably going to be getting a pump soon. So that is something to pay attention to. I'm going to mark today's high, and I am then going to put an alert right above today's high. And then we will see when this thing finally starts turning around. When, it, when we get that alert, if it then takes out 1780, we know this thing is probably ripe for a run back up here to 21 bucks. And that is a decent size move to take advantage of. That is how things go. It's going to take time to turn it around, but you definitely got a setup to go off of. All starts with that alert being hit right there. All right, guys. So that's what I got for you today. We'll just talk about these trade ideas right here, guys. D King. It is testing the spot we talked about in yesterday's video. This is kind of just your confluence spot. It is where you broke down over here. So guys, expect sellers to step in over here. But congratulations if you're riding this thing up with me. Um, you know, this is where we want to be taking off pretty much everything right here. Maybe you have a runner for the breakout if it happens. Maybe you, you do get a straight up push to 37.81. Maybe. Okay. But most likely not. So, you know, if you were playing this setup with me and you got in over here, it's time to start scaling out. You're up a decent amount. doesn't matter what contract you bought. That's that. FSLR, consolidating right under 232 resistance. Above there, straight shot up to 240.96. I'm going to actually set an alert right here. I'm going to set it right there. 234. Netflix, guys, stalling out right here at the 0.786 FIB. A pull back to 639. That is something I would like to see. Then I would like to, you know, go off of there 
horror movie up above 799 new all time high incoming on netflix so that's what i got for you guys today we have a lot of you know really sexy things about to make some moves and one of the biggest ones i can really point your attention to right now is goog it hasn't started yet we saw microsoft break out we saw apple break out we saw amazon break out kinda all right it kind of started doing its thing you know i don't really i don't know okay Amazon, it, my point is it's making a big move up. Goog has not. All right, Tesla started. SMCI started. NVIDIA started. All of these started. MU started. They all started breaking those downtrends. Guess what is happening right now? Goog is just about to do it. All right, so you want to get in ground floor on your next big trade. Right here, you're playing from where you are right here, Okay. Support you're playing off of 161.70. You want to buy right there. Next one under there. We're just going to take that off. This is where you want to hold. This is where you want to be going off of. And then you really ultimately want to break. Excuse me. I always got the hiccups with these videos. You got to break above 164.50. And from that point, you should be broken out of this downtrend. And that is when you probably are going to have some short-term momentum, at least back to this 171 spot, 170.97. Love that candlestick right there. And uh, yeah, things get pretty spicy over here on Goog. Just be patient on it. It is right around the corner. It's coming. And that's that. All right, guys. With that being said, I hope everybody has a lovely rest of your day. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like. I had, uh, you know, I definitely appreciate it. I appreciate your time. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. With that being said, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.